Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing my beauty roundup video. If you are new here, hi, how are you? Welcome, my name is Fortune. I'm a certified professional makeup artist, and every month I pick a few products that I'm going to be dedicating my face to that month. And then at the end of the month, I'm gonna be giving you guys a review, the best ways to use each product that I pick, the worst ways, just give you my final thoughts, as well as introduce you to the products that I'm gonna be slapping on my face, mainly in February. So I'm very excited to get into it. But before we do, let's just, can we take a moment for the makeup? Like, let's just take a moment for the makeup. This is very different for me. I have been rocking a smoky eye for the majority of the past two years. So I wanted to try something a little different, um, something a little bit more bold. And I know in our 2022 makeup trends video, I said that bold eyes was gonna be my least favorite trend because I'm just lazy. But today I was not feeling lazy. We had a snowstorm here on the East Coast. So I've just been like cooped up and I took my time and just played with the makeup. Now I'm looking at myself and thinking like, damn, she is too cute to be snowed in. Also this fit. Look at this dress, look at these sleeves. Like this is, mm, she cute, she cute today. But anyway, I'm very excited to hop into the video. If you haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just hop into all of the amazing beauty products. I have to say again, this month, smash it, loved it every single product that I used. And you guys have just been loving the series and thanks to you, I have found so many new Holy Grail products. I'm just, I am looking at specifically two of the products that I used a lot in January and I'm just like melting over them. So yeah, if it wasn't for this series, I wouldn't have found so many amazing Holy Grail products. So let's review the products that I used in January real quick. So my least favorite, but still really, really amazing I've used this before. You guys have seen this on my channel plenty of times. I think I got it in either the tail end of 2018 or 2019. This is Lovecraft Beauty. It just has three of their beautiful bronzer shades. This was like a holy grail for me for a year and a half there. And then I was introduced to my Scott Barnes palette, which I don't have here in front of me and I'm too lazy to go get. But I recently did a dedicated video on the Scott Barnes palette. If you're interested in it, I will link it up here. But guys, that is just... Had I had not tried that, I would still really, really, really love this. But like the Scott Barnes one is just so versatile and you can do so much more with it because it has contour shades, but there are contour shades for me that can be bronzer and it's just, it's, it's just too, too good. I didn't really love this as much as I used to love it. Cymbeline is definitely my favorite shade. This kind of like lighter beigey brown is always a go-to bronzer shade for me. And then the other shades, like I would use Aditya, which is the darkest one to hug in the back to just give a deeper contour. These are really nice powders, blend really, really beautifully. If you go in with too much, they can easily be blended out. Like there, I have nothing bad to say. Beautiful as eyeshadows. I've lined my lips many a times with Suniva. So it is really, really versatile. I just find that when I'm going for a palette like this, I just grab Scott Barnes because again, there's just like, I can do so much more with it. Dose of Colors, this concealer. I didn't use this as a concealer. I used this as a foundation just because this shade is too dark for me. And this is so nice. I love how this blended across the skin. It didn't pick up any texture. It didn't look cakey. It's like a thicker concealer, but it lays down really thin and looks really natural. And I had really, really good skin days on days where I would just throw this in the center of my face where I need a little extra coverage and then blend it outward. So beautiful. I don't know what this is like underneath your eyes. For me, I think it's a little too thick. I do have a lot of fine lines and I think that this would just accentuate them. However, as a foundation, it was really good. I should have tried it as a concealer, but guys, it's just like so dark for me. Honestly, I wouldn't have left the house because it's just, it's too peachy. I need a little bit of brightening underneath my eyes because I do have pretty dark circles. I just find like a lighter concealer makes me look that much more awake. So if you've used this as a concealer, let me know down below in the comments, did you like it? Because as a foundation, I'm like so obsessed with it. It's so, so freaking good. <sighs> These Laura Mercier caviar sticks are so freaking bomb. I cannot, this is the most used product that I picked in January. Like honestly, every time I sat down to do my makeup, I picked up one of these. My most 
used shade is definitely cocoa just this matte brown beautiful delicious eyeshadow i tried these several years ago i got normal size one because this i got in a trial set so this is your typical laura mercier caviar stick i got it in rose gold and it was really pretty but i kind of slept on it and was like Ugh, you don't really need it guys you need them like they're so good and this is why i love this series because had i had not picked these up and dedicated a month of my face to them i still would be sitting here saying that it's not worth it and also i'm wearing lashes today i sneeze so hard and I popped an inner corner and I'm just like too lazy to go fix it because like I love a lash it really gives the drama I just I hate the hassle it's like such an extra step I was really looking forward to copper being an inner corner highlight for me but it's just too golden and I'm just like so well I put a self tan on I don't even know if you could tell but and I'm just like so pale that it's too dark of an inner corner for me but it is so so pretty I'm gonna insert a video of a smoky eye tutorial that I did using copper and cocoa and oh my god it was the quickest smoky eye I've ever done it was so pretty so comfortable they smudge a little bit if you put too much of them on like you know when you open your eye and I have hooded eyes a little bit I have like folds here so when I open my eye some of my eye gets lost underneath the folds of my eye and they didn't really transfer that badly however some days they felt a little sticky and some days they didn't which was weird but because I have a little bit of hoodedness it just felt uncomfortable so I would kind of just set it to get rid of that tackiness you know this way my eyelid wasn't getting stuck and it was just a little bit more comfortable but that's really like my only complaint I will say however I did try and put this in my waterline quite a few times and I wear contacts and I don't know what it is I think it's because this is a lot thicker than your typical liner and I drew all over my contacts several times and then I kid you not like I went through the rest of my day and would like see things like floating in my eyeballs because it was just like stuck to my contacts so if you are a contact wearer and you want to put this in your waterline you have been forewarned it looks really nice it lasts pretty well just you're gonna color in your contacts and it'll be really uncomfortable all day. Amethyst, I think I use this in a couple tutorials. It's really pretty, it's cool toned. It looks really beautiful with my brown eyes. It would look absolutely amazing if you have green eyes. I just didn't really gravitate towards it. I'm really in like a brown smoky mood, but you will definitely continue to see these on my channel, on my Instagram, all of my social media, because they're just so good. And anytime that I was looking for a super quick kind of makeup look, these were just like the answer. The star of January. I am so obsessed with this Beauty Blender Skin Tint, the Radiant Skin Tint. I don't even know what it's called. Always on Radiant Skin Tint. This is so freaking beautiful. I bought the Kosa Skin Tint, which you've seen in a couple tutorials recently because it's just so good for dry skin and it is like the dead ass of winter on the East Coast and I am so dry. The air is so dry. It is like sucking the life out of me. I was dabbling between this and the Kosas. It's a tinted face oil and this is a skin tint. I love them both. I will say I, I like this one better. It's just so beautiful. It makes my skin look so radiant. It doesn't have a lot of coverage in it. So if you are a full coverage kind of babe, you're not gonna like this because it is so radiant. It kind of just like diffuses the light and gives you like picture perfect skin. In real life, on video, in photos, it's just so good. The only thing I will say is that this dropper is a mess. Um, very dangerous, especially if you're someone that gets things all over you like me. I'm very klutzy, clumsy. The best way to apply this is definitely with a sponge. However, I like to put it on my face with my fingers and then blend it out because if I put it directly on the sponge like this is so so thin the sponge will absorb it and you lose a lot of product in the sponge if you're someone that has a lot of wrinkles textured skin I would definitely recommend this it has a lot of hydrating properties in it so it will help to soften your skin it just kind of like I said it gives you like a soft blur any of your fine lines it really doesn't accentuate them even though it's a radiant product it's just I cannot say enough good things about it I really think that you need to try it if you have oily skin though I don't think you will like this I find that people that have oily skin tend to not get along with very thin kind of foundations. Thin foundations give extra slip and if your skin already has extra slip it's like a slippery slope. Do you know what I'm saying? For February 
These are the products that I'm going to be dedicating to my face and it is more than four, but I am so freaking excited. And no, this video is not sponsored, but Merit reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to pick seven of their products to try. Just review here on my channel, let you guys know what I think, my honest opinions. This is not sponsored. However, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna give me an affiliate link, an affiliate code. So if you are interested in any of these products, I will put the code up here if there is a code or I will put the link down there. If you could copy and paste it, click it and shop that link. I'll just get a small commission from anything that you purchase. However, I'm not telling you to purchase this now. Wait until I try it and we can talk about it and then you can see if you would like to buy it. But I'm very excited to be working with them. Super clean. They are EU approved. So I know the European Union has a lot more stricter rules as to ingredients that can be put in any kind of their beauty products. Whereas the United States gives zero Fs, which is not a good thing. It's clean at Sephora, compliant, and their motto is kind of just like quick, simple, easy, one, two, three, out the door. And aside from um, the makeup that I'm wearing today, that has definitely been my jam. And you guys know, I am a big believer in wasting less. I don't like to waste things. I know that's kind of like a little hypocritical because I am a beauty channel and I have a lot of makeup, but I do use all of my products. If there's anything that is unused, always donate it. I'm always giving my friends and family things. So I love not wasting things. I have been doing some things that have been more more environmentally friendly and I definitely want to share with you guys because I find like some of them are just like simple don't even affect you that anyone can do and knowledge is power so I'm definitely going to share that with you guys but what I love about Merit and it says on their website that they aim to eliminate as much virgin plastic as possible from their products operations their shipping packaging is recyclable reusable and biodegradable listen if you can make me look beautiful in one two three while also helping the planet like I am so game their products are absolutely beautiful and I am so excited to try them. They sent me this little bag that is super, super cute and really like genius because it's kind of just like this pouch that you tie and like this color is so cute. I love this. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I could like take this bag out with this outfit, like 70s vibe, 70s vibe, baby. Who is she? Oh, I could totally do this. This is so cute. This looks really cute with my outfit. Like this could be a handbag. I didn't unbox any of these things because I wanted to do an unboxing video, which you know my ass never did. So let's just unbox it together. First they have their Perfecting Complexion Stick. This is, from my understanding, not a foundation, not a concealer. It's just kind of supposed to perfect your skin. But I wanna show you guys like how cute the packaging is. So sophisticated. This is giving me, what is the name of that brand? That is like so expensive. Westman Atelier, Atelier. I don't know how you say that, okay? I'm not fancy. Vibes. How cute is that? So this is just supposed to be a perfecter. I got two shades of this because I wanted to use one as a concealer and one more as a foundation. This is in the shade Dune, Linen, and I think this one is a little bit lighter. Yeah, so Linen is a little bit lighter than Dune. I don't even know if you can see the difference. Also got this Day Glow Highlighting Balm. I believe this comes in three different shades. And yeah, I'm gonna swatch this. Yep, that's really pretty. And you guys know, I mentioned the trend about how in my trends video, how juicy natural skin is in. Oh my God, oh my God. That just looks like I went for a brisk walk, like sweaty, but in the most beautiful, seductively sexy way. And I just, again, I love that this is all clean ingredients. I'm not a stickler, I'm not one of those people. And if you are, I totally respect that, but I'm not someone to throw out all of the products that I've ever loved and just sayonara to you. I like a good mix. You know, if something is clean and good for my skin and good for my body, and it also performs really well, and it is as beautiful as this packaging and hopefully works just as beautiful as the packaging then I'm for it. Two of these flush bombs. I got one to use as a blush. You guys know I love a cream blush. This is the bronzer. So I bought one. It's not a bronzer. It's blush. But again, we're being creative here. So I got the shade Terracotta just because I feel like this is a really good cream bronzer shade for me. And I'm really, really excited. Like this could be a, a pretty blush too, but I just want to see how things work, the way that they're meant to work and the way that I think that they could work. So this is in Terracotta. I got this blush shade, which is, I think I got Flamingo. Is it Flamingo? No, Beverly Hills. I think there was a flamingo, but I went with this one. So pretty and I love how cute the packaging is. And I like that it's clear. So I can have both of these sitting on my vanity. I can see which is which. So pretty. I'm very, 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 very excited. Can you tell? 1980 brow gel, which I'm excited. I recently, oh, look at this packaging. 
that is expensive looking. I think their products are a little pricey, actually. Let me pull up. Oh, okay, also, really quick, I just read that you can machine wash this on cold. This is double lined with no wasteful hardware or toggles, and it's made to last. Love that about the bag. Let me see how much this brow thing is, because it looks so expensive. $24, that's kind of expensive, I mean. My Essence Make Me Brow is $3, and I use that every day. The Perfecting Stick is 38 doll hairs. That's a lot of doll hairs, not gonna lie. The Cheek Color is 28, also expensive. I also got the mascara. Did I not get a lip product? I don't think I did. The mascara is 26, and the highlighter is 30. Wow, that's expensive for the highlighter. Okay, so these are expensive. They look expensive. You know, if they're great and as amazing as I honestly think that they're gonna be, then it's gonna be worth it. And you know, the fact that they're clean too, that definitely ups the price, you know? This is the brow gel. I just opened the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. Um, I'll put exactly what it's called down below. I opened it for the first time and I used it on a video that I uploaded. It was a short video and I was obsessed with it. So, I mean, the more brow products, the merrier in my opinion. Um, this looks really nice though. Like this is just, oh my God, my vanity is about to get an upgrade. That is for sure. Last but not least, this is a mascara. Very excited to see what this looks like. <laughs> and I looked at all of these when I picked them out. Oh my God, this is cool. Look at this packaging. It's like a rectangle and then the top is, oh my God, guys, I'm so excited. Look at how expensive my vanity is gonna look. But these are more beautiful in real life. Like they look kind of cheap online. No offense, no offense. Just my first impressions, not even using them. I'll insert a picture of the highlighting bomb cause that one's right in front of me and it looks cheap AF. But in real life, like this is so, so nice looking. I normally don't pick this many products though. I normally keep it to four. However, I basically have like a full face here so why not choose them all so just to reiterate i have a highlighter two blush tones one that i'm actually going to use as a blush another one that i'm going to use as a bronzer two skin perfecting products one i will use as a foundation the other as a concealer i have their mascara as well as their brow gel so oh my god and this freaking adorable bag like i just this bag is so Thank you. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there is a product that you would like me to dedicate my face to in an upcoming month. I would love to test it, try it, approve it. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.